Hey guys, I should be live here and yep, yeah, should be good. All right, so I'm Ryan Raymond. Tonight we're gonna to talk about Amazon keyword rankings and Amazon keyword ranking tools and tracking tools and all the things you're gonna to need to know to look and see how your Amazon keywords are being ranked, how well they're indexing on Amazon. And Amazon has made some big changes in the last, I don't know, week. But uh, keywords are being ranked for really fast. Like the, your your discoverability has changed, especially if you're in the merch by Amazon space, because that um, before it at least took three days, sometimes two weeks for even uh, shirts to show up on your brand name. Now they're happening same day instantly. Like they're live. You click your brand name. They're up. Um, usually you used to have to wait. So Amazon has done something with their algorithm and it has changed how fast these things are ranking for. So if we want to use, look at how well we're ranking, what keywords, um, doing our keyword research and checking how uh, much search volume there is and ranking, I'm going to look at two of my favorite tools. We're going to look at Sonar Tool and Productor. And Productor is mainly for merch by Amazon, but it'll work with any product on Amazon. So that's why I'm going to use that one. And then uh, Sonar Tool is more designed for all products on Amazon. And so that's why I'm going to use those. There's lots of like niche specific research tools out there, but these ones work for everything. So that's why we're going to use those. So let's jump over here. So let's say we, for anything, since this doesn't even have to be for a t-shirt, um, I'm, I just like using this here. So an example, I've been researching leather. So look at that leather journal. So top keywords here, look at these here, leather re, um, all of these sort of different things here. So refillable leather journal. So one of the keywords I've been looking for, Hey Steve, Hey Tia, good to see you guys in here. Tia, first timer, welcome to the stream. Um, and Steven, always good to see you in here. Thank you for being here. Um, yeah, so let's jump over here. So Amazon, and I'll show you kind of what Productor does as well. So Sonar Tool basically goes through, think of it as AMZ Suggestion Expander. It goes through and looks for all of our permutations. You can have it exclude permutations, which are, you know, the differences between iPhone case and case iPhone. Um, so only the one with the higher search volumes included. So it doesn't do all the backward mixing around, um, but those are in there. So look at this, refillable leather journal. So let's say I was gonna research for that. Refillable leather journal. All right, so we're gonna give Productor a moment here to kick in. It just takes a little bit. And if you haven't yet, guys, make sure you take a moment, subscribe. I give um, tips and tutorials, mostly about Merch by Amazon, but selling on Amazon in general. I just got accepted to Amazon Handmade for uh, wallets. So I'm working on getting some inventory together for wallets and belts and being able to sell uh, my leather stuff on Amazon Handmade. You can see I got ink and stain all over my hands. So um, I'll share more information about that as that goes for you guys as well. Um, and which is pretty cool. Also in other Amazon news, Amazon just announced um, Ignite Amazon. Um, it's a platform for selling downloadable content, uh, basically printables, educational materials. It's set up right now for teachers uh, to sell their lesson plans and classroom materials. So check it out if you haven't yet. It's ignite.amazon.com. And I've posted links to it on my Facebook page. And Jacob Topping, who wrote Merch in the World by Print on Demand, uh, started a Facebook group about it. And the link for um, that is on my Facebook page as well. And the link for that is in the description. So check them out. Okay. Anyway, this loaded up. So Productor, look at what it did here. It gave me the top focus keywords. So I hover over here. This is giving me all of the main keywords that are used um, for all the top ranking listings right here. Then top long tail keywords. And so all of these, you know, long tail search terms that someone's using. So moon, Moonster paper refills, Moonster refills. So that's that's a long tail keyword. Classic moleskin journals fits maximum size. Um, that's all sorts of uh, great keywords that you can look for. Then the other thing that Productor does here is I can search, so, sort my um, results by BSR. So you don't gotta scroll through. This is gonna show me what the best sellers are. Um, Rocket Seller sorts them by the newest sellers. Um, so that I can see which ones are recently listed and then um, get sort of my ads and sort by price. And it puts on each of these ones here, all the keywords for each individual listing and their ranking indexes. 
So the other thing I said I was wanted to talk about was, um, okay, so look at that right there. So I, my productor gives me a notification right here, sold for first time, my OK Boomer hoodie there. So that's um, a meme that's been going around there for uh, millennials. And so let's look at that. That's pretty cool that it popped up right there and let me know that it just sold for its first time. So the other thing I was talking about is Amazon is ranking for. So let's look at this uh, t-shirt I made earlier today, a cat lady shirt. Um, I click novelty merge here, my brand name, and that brings up um, my shirts. Oh, I ended up over here on the German market, but that's okay. So it'll bring up all of my search and it works, Productor works over here in the German market as well. Um, but these shirts listed today and they're already indexed for my t-shirt. So what I love about these tools is it gives you all of this information, but Amazon has definitely made a change in the last, I don't know, 24, 36 hours. John Marshall commented about it this morning and mentioned that his listings are being indexed almost immediately. So tell me, are you noticing that your products are um, showing up in search results for your keywords um, like right away when they're live? Um, and if you're also selling on Amazon for other platforms, do you sell on Amazon Handmade, FBA, anything else? Let me know in the comments if you're doing any of the other ways uh, to make money with Amazon. Um, did OK Boomer get trademark, Steve? Let me check that. So Steve mentioned OK Boomer is trademarked. I don't remember finding it, but let me check when I listed it. Let's check. Okay, boomer. Okay, so there are three serial numbers. Let's take a look and see what the statuses are on these. All right, uh, so this is an applicant for clothing. This is an applicant for clothing. Um, and there, so they are not registered trademarks. And so with that, um, I'm going to have to file a uh, letter of protest. Um, so in this case, there's, I've got a video on exactly how to file a letter of protest. I haven't done it in a little while. Um, but I, I, both of us should file more letters of protest. Screw it. Put them up there. Um, in fact, I'll grab that link for you guys right now. And if I, you search across on my channel and a letter of protest right here, this video of mine let me pull it up you guys should watch this one if you want if if there's ever a trademark that's infringing on your business and going to be impacting you i highly recommend file a letter of uh protest so this that will be on my list of things to do next year i highly recommend going and watching this video this is the back end of this video um for, for and so i can uh it on that so just because someone filed it doesn't mean that it's enforceable yet there's still an open window let's make sure on that one right there and if you haven't yet the trademark watchdogs group on facebook um gets on this one here so let's see who is the trademark troll so let's get into this information all right so currently trademark application has met the minimum has not yet been assigned to an examiner uh, so three months after the filing date, they filed it November 4th. So they filed it uh, 12 days ago. Um, so let's look at their garbage information here. Okay, Boomer, standard character mark, goods and services. What documents did they provide? So here's their drawing. Um, so this is Kevin Yen of Little Neck, New York, United States. Kevin at advanced.ventures. Um, he's at, I mean, dude, you're an asshole for one. I'm just going to say it. Uh, and you're, you haven't even provided a specimen. So you've done the minimal effort here and I will happily, um, get a letter of protest up about this one tonight. So, yep. We'll get those LOPs out there and, uh, yeah, always check that status. And if it's, it's something that's basically, what you need to do is we'll go on something like Amazon here and I'm just going to put OK Boomer shirt. And oh, do I still have that Chrome extension in here? 
video downloader. No, 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 no. It's one of these ones. I think it's this one right here. Yes, fire shot. Um, okay. Uh, I cannot see. Okay, I got to reinstall my fire shot. So anyway, fire shot is the Chrome extension that you use for filing a letter of protest. So, wow, this video that started about keywords turned into a lecture about trademarks. That was not the expectation here tonight, guys. Um, so anyway, um, but those are my kind of my two favorite tools. Sonar tool, you get this here, it's free. Um, you get to download the uh, all this whole keyword list here and it works for any type of keyword on Amazon. And then, um, any of the other listings you're or bleh, I can't even talk tonight productor productor is awesome okay guys anyway I'm gonna get this closed up here so make sure that you subscribe and if you haven't yet watch this video right over here this one right there yep that one right there that's the one that YouTube um, has been looking at and recommends that you should be watching. It's uh, listened to everything you searched for, it's looked at what videos of mine you've watched, what other videos you've been watching, and it says that this one is the one that you should be watching next. And this one right here is my latest video. That's the most recent video I've published. So uh, don't be sorry, Steve. You did the right thing, you called it out and you gave me a warning, but we're gonna get it solved. We're gonna get that one stopped. So, all right, thank you guys. Have a good night.